<sighs> so, hello, welcome back to the channel. It's definitely been a while and I do apologize for the time it's taken me to make another video. I have been non-stop with work for the last maybe five, six weeks, so I just haven't had time to be able to put any videos up for you guys. So I actually want to talk about BPD and the different personalities that can come with it. I, oh my God, look at my hair. Okay, so this is, this is one of the personalities that comes with it, the self-conscious side. Uh, let me just get this out of my face. Not perfect, but that'll do the trick. So yeah, BPD and, and different personalities. So after doing these sort of six weeks of work that has been non-stop, pressure, 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 you need to get this done, etc., etc. After having a lot of long night shoots, sort of 12 to 14 hour days, and having a week of that, my body just grew incredibly tired. And my mind was tired, I was running on caffeine, and just me needing to get the job done that was required of me. And after all of those weeks of work, uh, I came back and there was a bit of an after party after one of the shoots that we did which was amazing um, and the following day I cracked and it was one of the first times that sorry I'll close this window just so you don't hear the airplane and uh, I, I had a bit of a bad day not even a bad day a, a bad few hours which wasn't necessarily bad because I understood what was happening and it was a mixture of different things but it was one of the first times ever that I felt myself shift between different personalities within the space of an hour um, but each of these personality shifts was happening every sort of 30 seconds, 45 seconds, minute, minute and a half and it was quite intimidating to be honest I, I got lost in my own thoughts and I would go from wanting to be completely alone where I literally had this visual imagery of myself in my head where I was literally alone in the middle of nowhere with nobody there, there was no other existence on planet earth, it was just me on my own and that's where I wanted to be. And that was quite difficult to manage because of this powerful visual imagery that I had in my head, I was getting locked into that. and I. I feel I was probably locked into that for about sort of 10, 15 minutes until my partner was able to talk me out of it. I would go from that sort of personality to then switching that completely on its head and being happy and doing my best to be happy and to smile through everything and to be confident and wipe away my tears and, and, and feel very proud. But then from that I would very quickly shift to anger in terms of being angry with myself. Have I done the job? to the extent that I wanted it to do. Have I done well enough? Am I good enough? And then switching from that into then shame and et cetera, et cetera. And these personality shifts were so vivid within my head, it felt like, I don't know how to explain it, but it felt like this. It felt like uh, pathways in my brain were being triggered in different aspects of my brain. And it felt like I was using almost the full of it, but. In, at individual times and and those shifts like I said they were they were really intimidating I didn't quite know what to do with myself and I, I was lucky enough to be sort of talked through it with my partner um, and she got me through it to the, to the other side but it was one of the most prominent times where I have ever felt my personality shift I felt like I had borderline personality disorder I don't know if there's anything that I can give to you in terms of how to get through these things, but what was best for me was being around someone that I know that I trusted and, and having them talk through these things with me. Um, there was a lot of sort of getting lost in who am I, you know, I, I, would, I would forget who I was and then I think that is what triggered me turning into this different personality and trying something else but that didn't feel right so then I would then shift into another into another into another but there is one benefit of all of this when these things happen to me which they haven't happened for a long time sometimes it feels like I'm able to rid myself of one personality and try to start building another version of myself I, I feel like there is a spectrum of borderline personality disorder 
and I feel like a lot of people are actually within this spectrum but they just don't realize it because they haven't been diagnosed but it almost felt like I was getting rid of some of the personalities that I didn't feel benefited me anymore and I started moving towards okay well how can I choose the best one how can I choose the most confident version of myself how can I choose the most fulfilling version of myself, the one that will make me smile and the one that will make me feel best about myself and I could feel my brain trying to figure that out and once, it, once I had figured that out I returned to myself, who I am now talking to you and that was the one that I felt most comfortable with which is really interesting because you know there there is only one me but sometimes it feels like there's more than one me I don't know, it's very difficult to explain. If you are going through these things, the best thing that you can do is talk to someone. And talk to someone that you know and trust, and, and trust them with what you're thinking and what you want to say. And hopefully they are not judgmental, and and they won't judge you on, on the things that you are saying, because sometimes it can be very scary opening up and being vulnerable to these things that you haven't necessarily told anybody before. But that's what helped me out and if it can help me out of these episodes then i'm sure that it can help you too and i think that's about it for for this video if there's anything that you want to ask me please feel free to comment down below and i'll do my best to respond as quickly as possible and i'm going to be doing more videos again now that i have a little bit more free time it would be amazing for me to take a little step back from all of the work that i'm doing and that i absolutely need to do and just do the, the chill things, you know, the editing, the thinking of new stories to come out with and, and show to you guys. And because I would love to communicate with you guys more in terms of BPD and be able to help you. I find it so fulfilling. Um, by the way, thank you so much for near 12,000 subscribers. That is a huge number. Holy shit. Part of my language, but that is nuts. And yeah, I would never have believed that something like this could ever happen. So I'm going to keep on pushing it. If we can get me up to 12,000 subscribers, that would mean a lot to me. Um, but yeah, for now, thank you very much. I hope you have a really nice day. And uh, keep smiling. Push, push through everything that life throws your way. Hurdles are part of life. And that's just how it is. But it's how you get over those hurdles and keep on pushing forward. That's what makes the difference between you being sad and you being happy. All the love in the world. Have a great day.